PNM promises delayed. One, in the 2016 budget, Imbert said the government would have taken steps to amend certain legislative provisions to implement the existing Property Tax Act 2009, with a view to having a fair and equitable property tax regime in place by January 1, 2017. The new property tax was not in place by January 1, 2017, but it finally materialized in 2024, when citizens began paying their taxes and with Imbert on Monday extending the deadline for payment to November 29, 2024 from September 30, 2024. 2. Imbert announced that the TNT Revenue Authority, TTRA, would be in place by the end of the 2017 fiscal, which was September 30, 2017. The TTRA was only given the green light to be implemented last week by the Privy Council, after the representing union the Public Services Association, PSA, took the government to court to challenge the constitutionality of the formation of the TTRA. 3. New procurement legislation, the implementation of which was supposed to be in place in 2016, was only fully proclaimed in April 2023. 15 PNM promises not delivered. Over the nine-year period, some of Imbert's promises that were not kept. 1. The National Statistical Institute, which was meant to replace the Central Statistical Office, has not been delivered. 2. A general accounting office, which was meant to focus spending to achieve maximum efficiency, has not been delivered. 3. In the 2018 budget, Imbert announced a plan to deregulate the fuel market in TNT while liberalizing fuel prices so that they would fluctuate with the prices of oil and the prices of refined products. In the 2019 budget, he announced a decision to slow down the complete deregulation of fuel prices in order to ease the burden on taxpayers. 4. In the 2021 budget, the Minister of Finance announced plans to introduce a private sector operator for the port handling operations at the Port of Port of Spain by the end of fiscal 2021. There has been no selection of a new operator. 5. Still no financial autonomy for judiciary after it was promised eight years ago during the budget presentation. 6. No ban the importation of styrofoam in the food industry and no termination the use of plastic water bottles in government offices, which was to take effect on January 1, 2020. 7. No new operator for the Magdalena Grand in Tobago. Hotel to be rebranded under the new operator. 8. No parking meters in Port of Spain and San Fernando. 9. Areas like bamboo and woodland are still reeling from severe flooding, causing damage to homes and infrastructure. 10. No implementation of the national retirement age from 60 to 65. 11. No implementation of a salary review and increase for counselors remains pending. 12. No elimination of arrival forms at airports. 13. There are still some taxes and duties on inputs for farmers when it was announced that there would be removal on all taxes for farmers. 14. No appointment of procurement officers and procurement units for regional corporations. 15. The establishment of full-time executive councils resembling the Tobago House of Assembly, and this has not been achieved.